Throughout the mixing topic, we've covered all the various features and functions within the Nuendo Channel Mixer. Everything from automation to insert effects to full 5-1 surround mixing, there's practically no mix job that Nuendo can't handle. Now, when you're ready to complete the project and create your final two-track mixdown, you can either record it to an external recording device, or you can use the audio mixdown function within Nuendo to create an exact replica of your project mix down to a single audio file in your hard drive. In this movie tutorial, we'll cover the features for exporting your mixes for final mastering or archiving purposes. An audio mixdown is initiated through the audio mixdown menu function in the export category located in the main file menu. In this dialog box, you have various options available to you to customize the mixdown file it's going to create. But before we dig into these options, Let's take a moment to understand the audio mixdown process and how it works. The audio mixdown function in Nuendo is a process that renders the entire output of the mixer, or specific channels you choose, and creates a single audio file on your hard drive. The render process includes everything that is in your project. Any audio, automation, effects, virtual instruments, it's all included in the mixdown file. There is no loss of audio quality stereo imaging, or dynamic range. Nuendo's summing bus ensures that what you hear in the mix is exactly what you get when you perform the audio mixdown. The left and right locators in the timeline determine what parts of your project will be included in the mixdown. So if you're going to mix down the entire song, then you would want to set your left and right locators to cover the range of the entire project. Once the locators are set, then you can initiate the mixdown process. In the dialog box, you have various options available to you. First is the ability to choose which format you want to export the mix into. Nuendo's extensive file format support comes in handy here. Everything from broadcast wave to MP3 to AC3 using the optional AC3 encoder can be used as your format for direct mixdown export. If the file format you choose supports file compression, then the encoding list will populate with various compression options you can choose from. Depending on which format you choose, the options available will change based on the specifics for that format. For now, we'll stick with standard WAV file format. The first option is to set the channel type. You can create mono split files, stereo interleaved files, or a mono file. If you're exporting a surround mix, then you have the options to export those channels as well. There really is no right or wrong setting here. You simply choose the channel type you need for your specific mixdown. Generally if, you're mixing, generally, if you're mixing down a music project for Final Master, you'll choose a stereo interleave type. This puts, this puts both the left and right channels into a single file, instead of two separate files. It does not affect the stereo imaging or the ability for the mastering engineer to adjust or make changes to either channel separately. Moving on, we have the output selection. This is a very important feature as this determines what output from the mixer is going to be used to create the content of your mixdown file. If you're exporting a final mix, then you'll normally choose the master stereo output so that everything in the mix is contained in the file. However, you have the option to choose individual channels as well as specific virtual instrument channels. This is very handy when you need to print the inst This is very handy when you need to print instruments or individual audio channels to a file with the insert effects on them. This is something we'll cover more in the processing topic. Underneath the output options, you have both a real-time export and update display checkboxes. These both tell Nuendo to render the mixdown file in real time, instead of render time. This means the amount of time needed to render the file will be exactly the length of the project, instead of the usual half time needed. This is useful in the case that you have certain plugins that cannot keep their parameters updated fast enough to keep up with a fast time render. If you ever mix down a file and notice that some events or effects happen too late in the song, then it's likely they require you to mix down the song in real time. Next, you have your file bit depth resolution and sample rates. Again, you simply choose these to suit your specific needs. However, always remember that if you're choosing a resolution that is lower than what is currently being used within the actual project, then you always want to use a dithering plugin in the last insert slot of the master output or output channel you have selected in the output options. Finally, you have two more options, 
The first is the pool option. This tells Nuendo to re-import the final exported file back into the audio pool of this project. The next option works in conjunction with this and tells Nuendo to also take that re-imported file and place it into a newly created audio track. This is yet another very handy feature you will use when you need to bounce down instruments or individual effects to an audio file and you immediately want it placed right back in the song so that you can continue working. You'll find this very useful when you get close to maxing out the CPU of your system and you want to conserve power for other tasks. Rendering a track or instrument with its effects allows you to turn those effects or instruments off to conserve CPU power. So here's a quick example of how you can make use of the export function. I have a small commercial demo for Sony loaded up here. The client contact is asking for a preview or demo of the music I've done so they know whether to approve it or not. They've asked that I only send them the first 30 seconds to get an idea going, so I'm just going to send them an MP3 version of it. So first, we'll set our locator ranges to cover the 30 seconds of the commercial. Once the range is set, I'll initiate the export process. I'll go ahead and choose the export location on my hall. Next, I'll choose MP3 as the file format and choose the 160 kbps 44.1 kHz stereo option for the compression quality and we'll set the quality to highest. We'll set the outputs to the main master out of the mixer to make sure we capture the entire mix. I'll leave real time off since none of the plugins I'm using have issues with fast time rendering. And last, we'll choose our sample rate to match that of the MP3 format. There. Now I hit save and the render process begins. Once it's done, we can go to our hard drive and we'll see the actual MP3 file ready to go. I can now upload this to an FTP site for my client to download immediately and take a listen. So, you can clearly see how important the audio mixdown function is for everyday work. No matter what type of project you're creating with Innuendo, you'll always need to finalize that project into a final mixdown. This is where the audio mixdown function becomes an important part of every project.